everyone, Professor McAllister here again, and tonight I'm going to teach you about capitalization rules. When to use capital letters. It's actually pretty easy. So bear with me while I switch over to a PowerPoint, okay? Okay, everybody, let's learn about capitalization rules. And this is part of the English and Language Usage section on the T's. I'm going to show you how to know when to use capital letters. We'll do some practice sentences and then we'll review. When to use capital letters. You use them at the beginning of sentences, the beginning of titles, the first letter of important words and titles, names, titles of people's names, proper nouns, the days of the week, as well as months and holidays, and the first letter of a complete quote. Sounds like a lot, but it's actually pretty easy, so just bear with me, okay? This one, I, I feel confident that everyone knows this, but I thought I should still include it. You use a capital letter at the beginning of sentences. So for an example, since it is still snowing, I do not think we will have school tomorrow. Yay! Oh, another example, we bought our flight tickets for our vacation next month. And then the third example, the little girl received a bicycle for her birthday. So in all three of these examples, the first letter of the sentence uh, was capitalized. You also use capital letters at the beginning of titles of books or movies or articles, as well as the first letter of important words in the titles. Examples, gone with the wind. Notice the G is capitalized and gone, and wind is capitalized. But with and the, they are not capitalized because they are not important words. To kill a mockingbird. Everything in that title is capitalized except for the letter A, uh. And then Joey Pigsa swallowed the key. Everything in that sentence is capitalized. In that title, I'm sorry. That's a title. Everything in this title is capitalized except for the. Okay? Because it's not an important word. Okay. You use capital letters also when you have proper nouns which includes cities, states, countries, and continents. So, for example, New York City, New York. That's an example of a city and a state, and you have to do capitalization. The United States of America, that's a country. Europe is a continent. And Gambia is a country in Africa. Of course, people's names are capitalized. Examples include Lady Gaga, Michelle Obama, Nelson Mandela, and my name, Carolyn McAllister. You also use capital, capital letters for the titles and people's names, and that is whether they occur before the name or after. So for example, Dr. B. E. Well. Doctor is capitalized. Uncle Joe. Both Uncle and Joe are capitalized. And in this case, Uncle is considered a title. Don't confuse that with a sentence like, where is my uncle? If there's not a name following uncle or aunt or auntie or aunt, however you might say that, 
if there's not someone's name following that, then it's not a title and it's not capitalized. Okay. But in this case, uncle is considered the title. So it's uncle Joe and both are capitalized. Let's look at the last example. General Robert Henry, Commander, Medical Command. So this is an example of before and after. General is the rank, uh, the title, so that would be capitalized. And then following the name, the title is Commander, comma, Medical Command. So all of those have to have capital letters at the beginning. The days of the week are capitalized, as are the months in a year and holidays. So examples include Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Every one of the days of the week will begin with a capital letter as do the months, January, February, March, April, and so forth. And holidays such as Independence Day, Thanksgiving, and New Year's Day. All of those begin with a capital letter. You also need to use a capital letter Whenever you have a quotation, it will be the first letter of the quotation has to have a capital letter. So, for example, the author states, and then in quotes, there is not enough evidence to prove violent video games cause violent behavior. And the next one, according to the doctor, Infants and children should be read to every day. And then the last one, do not use an ink pen on this test, reminded the proctor. So in each of these examples, the first word of each quotation is capitalized. Okay, now let's practice. We'll practice right now reviewing beginning of sentences. So here are the, the practice questions and I'll give you a minute and you can also pause if you'd like and try to figure it out yourself and then I'll show you the answers. Please be sure to turn off the lights. He is afraid to go to the dentist. Will we ever have warm weather again? Okay, take a couple seconds. This one's kind of easy. The answers. You capitalize the first letter of each sentence. Please, he, and will. Now we're going to practice using capital letters at the beginning of titles and the first letter of important words and titles. Band of Brothers. A Star is Born. The Green Book. The B in Band and the B in Brothers will be capitalized. Of is not because it's not an important word. A star is born, the A, the S in star, and B in born. Those will all be capital letters. Is is not an important word, so it is not capitalized. The green book, the T, the G, and the B. The first letters of the title are capitalized. Okay, with this one, we're going to use practice using the capitalizing the titles of people's names and their titles. 
The first one is Aunt Mary. The second one, Dr. Sharon Marsh. Officer Buckle. And then Jennifer Lopez, President of the United States. Okay, pause if you want to have a chance to work these out for yourself. And now let's look at the answers. Aunt Mary, the A and the M are capitalized. Whenever a name follows aunt or uncle, then they're both capitalized. But if you're just referring to your aunt or your uncle with no name attached to it, those are not capitalized. Dr. Sharon Marsh, the capital, starts with a capital letter D, Sharon, capital S, and Marsh, capital M. Officer Buckle, capital O, and capital B. And then Jennifer Lopez, President of the United States. So the J is capitalized, the L, the P in President, the U in United States, and the S in United States. Notice of and the are not capitalized because they are not important words. Now let's practice with proper nouns such as cities, states, countries, and continents. Nashville, Tennessee, Michigan, Cameroon, South America. Okay, take a few seconds. And the answers are Nashville, Tennessee, the N and the T are capitalized, M in Michigan is capitalized, the C in Cameroon is capitalized, and the S and the A in South America are also capitalized. Okay, so now we'll try the days of the week, as well as the months and the holidays. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And by the way, for my non-native English speakers, practice saying Wednesday. A lot of my international students would pronounce it Wednesday, but it's Wednesday. You don't hear the D. Okay? Wednesday. All right. The months of the year, January, February, March, April, and holidays. Passover, Easter, Ramadan. Okay, take a couple seconds. And the answers are the first letter of each day of the week is capitalized. The first letter of each month of the year is capitalized. And the first letter of a holiday is capitalized. So the P in Passover is capitalized, the E in Easter is capitalized, and the R in Ramadan is capitalized. See, this stuff's pretty easy, huh? Okay, now the first letter of a complete quote. Dan asked, can someone give me a ride to the bus? Karen smiled when she said, the beach is calling me again. And then the last one, we ran five miles today, said Lizzie. Okay, a couple seconds. Pause if you want. And the answers, the C and can in the first sentence. The C in can is capitalized because it is the first word of the quotation. 
in the second sentence, the T in the, or the, however you say it, is also capitalized. And the last example, the W is capitalized. Okay? And then one final point I'd like to make. The pronoun I is always, always capitalized. Examples include Christy and I enjoy reading books. And the concert is tonight and thankfully I have a ticket. So be sure to always capitalize the pronoun I. One final review of this very exciting material. You capitalize the first letter at the beginning of a sentence, the beginning of titles, the first letter of important words in titles, names, titles of people's names, proper nouns, days of the week, months, and holidays, the first letter of a complete quote, and the pronoun I. I hope that this is easy for you to understand. I hope you took notes. Um, and if something isn't clear, please rewind, go back, and watch what you need to again. And that's it. And the next video will be adverbs and adjectives. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hi, thanks for watching my video. If you found my video helpful, please indicate it by hitting the like button. You're also welcome to leave any questions or comments down below. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notification of all my future videos. Thank you.